You know, 10 days ago, it was 117 degrees where the grapes grow in Napa Valley. Today, they're preparing for an inch of rain. That's the way it's gone this year in one of the most famous wine regions in the world. And as KPX 5's John Ramos reports, growers are having to roll with the punches. After such a dry year, you'd think people in the business of growing plants would welcome a little rain. But in the wine industry, as always, timing is everything. There was no calm before the storm at Visatui Winery in St. Helena. The place was packed as visitors enjoyed the glorious weather in the outdoor venue. Do you think it's because they know that tomorrow is going to be raining? Yeah, that, that a little bit. Of course, we were going to go only one day. For Visatui President Tom Davies, the storm means a chance for his workers to get a few days rest. They've been picking nonstop for weeks. But it was almost like an avalanche of fruit ripening all at one time. About 75% of his crop is in and all his tanks are full because the warm weather made almost all varieties of grapes ripen at once. There simply isn't room to put anything more. That's where the rainstorm may help. That just gives us a chance to kind of get caught up, uh, get some things uh, fermented if we need to, get stuff down the barrels and, and maybe give a, a half day off to some of the cellar crew. They've been working literally around the clock. That's the good news. The not so good news is for the fruit that's still out on the vine. But getting a little bit of a drink here late in the season would be good for the vines. It's not ideal for the grapes because the grapes will then draw up some of that water and that's not what we want to have happen right now. Pulling in water now will only dilute the sugar levels the growers have worked so hard to achieve. And then there's the threat of mold if it's not warm enough after the storm to quickly dry the berries. So warm temperatures and a soft northerly wind would be nice. Davies admits that, like all farmers, he's a bit of a whiner when it comes to the weather. We're just looking for that perfect weather, perfect ripening. And when anything just seems to push a, a little bit over the edge, you know, we tend to lose a little bit of sleep. But this has been a very unusual year. Unusual? Sure. But the growers in Napa Valley have pretty much given up on the idea of usual. These days, they're just scrambling to try to react to the next curveball Mother Nature serves up. In Napa Valley, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Yeah, what's well, usual, right? Davey says there's a reason Napa Valley growers worry so much. It's the most expensive agricultural land in all of the United States. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars that are at stake when the weather takes kind of an unusual turn. That's why we go up there and try to tell the stories.